We're gonna open these right now to show you how violent, awesome, bloody, cool, scary, uh, tasteless these cards are. You ready? So here's the sticker, starts with. This guy is actually, this is pretty tasteless. He's eating a baby. <laughs> so you see the carriage, and they've gone so far as to actually show the parts of the baby falling down in a bunch of blood. Hey, what's up guys? Deke, Odd USA, feeling rather orange today. Just got back in from the coffee shop, so I'm all caffeinated and ready to go. And want to crank out another quick video here for the Odd USA or for something that might end up being the focus of another channel. Just my random interests, my ADD hoarding collection uh, based mindset. Another late night purchase here on eBay when I had maybe a beer or two. I bought an entire box of, if you're not familiar with these, I'll give you some close ups of these in a little bit. Dinosaur, uh, dinosaurs, plural, attacks, cards. So this would be a box opening for these. Uh, these, little backstory, are based on uh, same creators as the Mars Attacks, which was later made into that Tim Burton movie, collector's cards. They were a collect, it's kind of a weird story where they were a collecting or collector's card set from Topps way back in the 50s, I believe. I actually own a couple of the originals. That'll maybe be another video at some point in time. Uh, that later spawned a movie, which is kind of, the reverse of what happened in the 80s with movies like E.T. and Gremlins. They were very controversial. They were tested more in the New England or Tri-State area market and quickly banned, which made people want them even more so and never distributed beyond that because so many parents complained they were too graphic, they were too violent. Uh, and they became this kind of collector's anomaly. Um, you know, that which is taboo is that which you want to collect the most, if that makes any sense in English. These came out in 1988. So then I was 10 going on 11, and when I walked down to my local five and dime convenience store where they sold baseball cards galore, uh, Madison, Connecticut, Ben Franklin, it used to be a chain of little like micro department stores. They had, lo and behold, this box similar uh, on the shelves, and they just looked so cool and intriguing. So of course I bought many packs, and I was hooked instantly. And then fast forward just a couple weeks, quickly, these cards, because they were even more violent and graphic, and you'll see in a second as I open them, were banned from many schools. Parents complain left and right. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of gore. There's a lot of people dying. And that's why they were so awesome. Dinosaurs attack. So I saw a box of them for sale on eBay. I think I paid about 20 bucks or a little more, including shipping. We're going to open these right now to show you how violent, awesome, bloody, cool, scary, uh, tasteless these cards are. You ready? All right, here we go. You'll notice when I was holding it before, there's kind of a slit in the side because I gave a few of these packs away uh, to my nephew and to my kids just so they could experience the dinosaurs attack. Tops cards, uh, tastelessness. You can already see in the box, uh, here's the Statue of Liberty being uh, engulfed by like a plesiosaurus. Plesiosaur, I don't know. Um, here on the side, uh, you can kind of see it through the shrink wrap, there's a roller coaster full of people going right into the mouth of some other dinosaur, another guy falling to his death. Um, it comes with bubble gum, which is going to be like 30 years old, 31 years old now. On the other side, the box itself is just kind of cool. The Oh yeah, this one's pretty violent here on the exterior packaging. You can see that woman being bit in half by a dinosaur. Pretty awesome. So 48 packs in here. Each one came with, I think, five cards and a sticker and a stick of gum. So here we go. Let me do this carefully. I don't think the box, like if I got this whole box for like 20 something bucks, the actual box itself isn't really worth anything, but it's just cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, we'll see. So this brings me back because I shouldn't do this, but the, these pop out and this part would fold up and fold back and become the display stand for it. Oh, I forgot that these came with posters. This is, look at this. This is making my day. The kid and me might have to hang this somewhere in my workshop. That's a cool, like, mint new condition poster. This guy here looks like Mean Gene Oakland uh, from the WWF, who actually just died a day or so ago. RIP, used to have the action figure of him. Kind of looks like him. Uh, RIP, brother. All right, so I got the poster. That 
at a friend's consignment shop and find the right person might be worth something itself. I bet I could get like 10 bucks or more just for that poster when I only bought the whole box for 20. So here's the packs. They came in uh, two colors. I'm trying to make sure you're seeing this properly on the screen. Two packs, uh, two different schematics on the packs. One of them looks like uh, Donald Trump is being eaten by a dinosaur there. Almost looks like him. This guy's hair is a little better though. And let's open some of these. Very thin little packs. So you, you get excited when you, when you hear, oh, there's 48 packs, but they're like paper thin. Um, I would kill for a full sheet of these. I'm not sure where I would hang it, what I would do with it. Here's the gum. Oh, this one's pretty shattered. Yum. Maybe I'll save that for later. I have another video, by the way, if you haven't seen it, on the Odd USA channel, where I chew gum that's like 30-something years old and talk about it. Very engaging. Um, so here's the sticker, starts with. This guy is actually, this is pretty tasteless. He's eating a baby. <laughs> so you see the carriage, and they've gone so far as to actually show the parts of the baby falling down in a bunch of blood. So that's why in the 80s, think about in the 80s, never mind now, anything goes now, but in the 80s, people are a little more prude and offended by this kind of stuff, and it is pretty awful. Um, you know, your kid comes home with a pack of cards, you think it's a good old wholesome tops cards, baseball, that kind of thing, E.T., collector's cards, Back to the Future. But no, there's babies being devoured and blood drooling from a dinosaur's mouth. That's why kids love these. That's why parents hated them. And that's why I still love them to this day. So here's the one you saw in the box. Uh, they all form a story. There's, what, 50-something cards? Uh, I'll write it in the description below. I can't remember off the top of my head. And they put out a whole book based, a comic book based on the story that shows the original card art that I picked up recently too, which is cool. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to pick it up so you don't have to look for it yourself. Uh, running out of air. Uh, Coasting to Calamity, we saw that one. <laughs> Crushing a canine. Look at this, a dog getting absolutely smashed. Now in the old Mars Attacks cards, if you read the lineage or story on that, there's one card a lot of them over the years that were censored before they ever went to print. One of them was a dog being uh, shot with a, fl a flamethrower, which the editors deemed too graphic. So instead, they changed it to a dog being shot by a gun, which really seems no better. Um, look at this one. Okay, I remember this one. This is The Stegosaurus is whopping this guy, walloping this guy in the face so hard that his eyeball flew out. The police precinct assaulted. So there's a bunch of police officers getting killed here. Uh, yeah. This was the cover photo we saw before, Statue of Liberty being snapped as a bunch of uh, soldiers parachute down, shooting at the dinosaur. Um, rock concert carnage. This guy's getting his hair torn off. Uh, another guy being eaten down here by some kind of, like, micro brachiosaurus. I don't know what this is at a rock concert. Um, and there's five of them right there. I'm not going to open all these because you guys would be bored to tears. Here's another one. Um, Trachodon. Was that a real dinosaur? I'm not even sure. Some nerd out there should tell me. Uh, this one's kind of boring. It's just eating a lamppost. That's too wholesome and normal. As, as normal as dinosaurs in the present time attacking Earth could be. Um, Monster in the Museum. I'm trying to get these in focus in the camera. I have the camera angled, so it's a little bit tough. No gore here. Still pretty cool. The art in these is great. Um, this one, okay, this is one of my favorites because it's so gory. It's just over the top. The kernel shredded. It's a kernel in the grass of two dinosaurs being pulled in half with entrails and blood pouring everywhere. That is pretty messed up. In the 1980s, it was even more messed up for that, you know, era. Uh, Prometheus explodes. That's the space station that is part of the story of why these dinosaurs are in the present day. Um... The past comes alive. This is one of the earlier cards where the story just starts. Very Godzilla-like Toho Studios as the monsters ripping through what's almost the Brooklyn or the Golden Gate Bridge. Trapped in a basement. Here's another graphic one. This guy being eaten alive by a dinosaur. Fun for the whole family as one guy's trying to escape through the basement. Let's do one more pack. You get the idea. Um, these are fun because I feel <laughs> like a good stocking stuffer for people. We we'll soon think, what the heck is wrong with that Deke character? Um, person in a skateboard getting eaten by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's a cool sticker. These guys are prying open a school bus, bus much like a sardine can, and eating the students, if you look closely, eating the students within. Not the kind of cards you want to bring to church. This is the best one. All right. 
and perhaps the Gorius. These poor military folks are really getting uh, their arses handed to them. Our forces flatten. That's really gory and kind of awesome. Uh, fast food frenzy at the burger barn. Like I said, check out the book. I have it in the description below. I bought it, read it. It's pretty darn entertaining, like a very violent dinosaur comic book. Um, here's Mean Gene again, getting attacked by Trilobites. In the homeroom horror, where another person's getting bit in half. A recurring theme in the dinosaur, uh, dinosaur's attacks cards, because I guess there's only so many ways a dinosaur would kill you. Its main method of attack being its jaws. I lied. One more. This is kind of fun. And hopefully this is kind of a blast from the past for some of you guys. Or maybe some education, quote-unquote, for those of you who have never heard of these cards. We can still find affordably online. I bought the entire complete set years and years back for like 15 bucks online. And I have that in a binder somewhere. So this guy, this uh, pterodactyl, plucked a guy off a horse. But not only that, he's decapitated him. Awesome. Ripped out of time. This is near the end of the story where the dinosaurs meet their demise. I won't spoil the whole story for you. But now you know that they lose. Earth is saved because of the ultimate sacrifice, which plays into that story as well. Kind of a boring card, but you need it to tell the story. That's what I like about these type cards. It wasn't based in a movie. They just created this story. So as you collected them... It was like an early graphic novel, very graphic novel. And you could piece together and read the backs, which were fairly elaborate. Well, not this one. <laughs> that's funny. Who is that guy and where is he now? You could, that's one of the few photos in the collection. It's just so weird. Um, you could piece it together and read it like a story as, it, uh, as if it was a movie. This one's cool, too. The uh, Ankyla or Ankylosaurus disemboweling the farmer with his... Uh, with the sweep of his tail. Um, DC Holocaust. Draining the swamp. <laughs> Dinosaur style. <laughs> Soviets versus Imetrodons. That's another cool... Like, if you could find the originals, they're probably sold or gone, or who knows, of these... these uh, you know, the masters for these cars. The artwork is just great. And it talks about that a lot in the book. There's a Mars Attacks book which is, I think, even better than this one that shows the original sketches and art and the story of the controversy and them being banned. That's out now. That's put up by Tops as well. Uh, I'll show you a quick picture of that. That's in the description as well if you want to pick it up. And there's that sticker once again. Lots more packs to open. Some of these I'm going to save to just give away to friends, kind of, kind of uh, as a joke, maybe do some contests online. Um, it's a cool consignment shop in town here in Stoughton, Mass. Mad Mama Vintage, where I have some of these for sale. You can pick them up. Um, like I said, they're affordable enough online, but kind of hard to find in some cases. So, there you go. Dinosaur attack. I keep wanting to say it singular. Hope you dug that. Kind of fun for me to open these. Well worth me spending 20 some odd bucks just to have the fun of handing these out like, you know, party favors to people and corrupting their young minds. <laughs> Again, I'm Deke for Odd USA. Don't worry, some of the travel stuff, we got more of that coming up if you don't like the card opening or baseball card related salvage or flea market stuff. But it's my channel, I can do as I please. But we have more of that coming up. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, that little bell thing. I guess it's going to do good things for me if you hit that. Please subscribe, and we will see you guys later.